Government of India gives several honours every year to those who have achieved outstanding merit in their field. Bharat Ratna The title Bharat Ratna literally means Jewel of India and it is the highest civilian award bestowed by the Republic of India. Bharat Ratna is awarded to exceptional individuals who have performed in the highest order. It was first given in 1954. Although this award was originally given to those artists who had outstanding achievements in art, science, literature and public service, but in December 2011, the criteria was expanded to include any field of human endeavour. The Prime Minister of India makes the recommendations to the President of India who chooses not more than three people in a particular year for the award. Although no money is given to the awardees, those who are chosen are given a people leaf shaped medal and a certificate known as Sanad. According to the Indian Order of Precedence, those who are given Bharat Ratna are ranked 7th. The award cannot be used as a prefix or suffix to the recipient's name in terms of Article 18.1 of the Constitution. The recipients of Bharat Ratna Award are First, it was given in 1954 to the freedom fighter and last Governor General of India C. Rajgopalacharya, to the physicist Dr. C. V. Raman and to the philosopher as well as first Vice President and second President of India Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. In the year 1955, it was bestowed upon the freedom fighter, writer and the first Prime Minister of India Jawaharlal Nehru, the freedom fighter, philosopher and educationist Bhagwan Das and the civil engineer, statesman, Diwan of Mysore, M. Vishweshwarya. In the year 1957, it was bestowed upon the freedom fighter, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and Home Minister of India, Govind Vallabh Panth. In the year 1958, it was bestowed upon social reformer and educator, Dhondo Keshav Karve. In the year 1961, it was bestowed upon the physician, politician and social worker Bidhan Chandra Roy and title as Rajarishi, independence activist and politician Purshottam Das Tandon. In the year 1962, it was bestowed upon jurist, freedom fighter and first president of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. In the year 1966, the first posthumous awardee was Lal Bahadur Shastri, who was a freedom fighter and second prime minister of India. In 1971, it was bestowed upon Indira Gandhi, the third prime minister of India. In 1980, the award was conferred upon Mother Teresa, who was a social worker, founder of Missionaries of Charity and a Catholic nun. In 1987, it was bestowed upon Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, known as Frontier Gandhi. In the year 1990, it was bestowed upon B. R. Ambedkar, who was a crusader against untouchability and was the chief architect of Indian constitution. In the same year, it was also bestowed upon Nelson Mandela, who is known as the Gandhi of South Africa. In the year 1997, this award was conferred upon the scientist and 11th president of India, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. In the year 1999, it was conferred upon the economist Professor Amartya Sen. In 2014, it was conferred upon the cricketer Sachin Tendulkar and the scientist C. N. R. Rao. In the year 2015, this award was bestowed upon scholar and educational reformer Madan Mohan Malaviya and the Prime Minister of India for three terms, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. In the year 2019, this award was bestowed upon the 13th President of India, Pranav Mukherjee, singer, lyricist, musician from Assam, Bhupen Hajarika and social activist Nanaji Deshmukh. Padma Awards These awards were introduced in 1954 and are being given to deserving individuals for their exceptional services in their chosen fields like sports, art, social work, civil service, literature and education, public affairs, science and technology, 
trade and industry etc the names of the awardees are announced every year on the republic day the padma awards have been given every year except three times that was in the year 1977 in the year 1980 and between 1993 and 1997 there are several rules concerning the padma awards for example If someone is a recipient of a lesser degree of the Padma award they can be awarded a higher degree of award only after 5 or more years since the last conferment secondly the awards are rarely given posthumously but exceptions can be made if the case highly deserves thirdly there ought to be an element of public service in the achievements of the person to be selected it should not be merely on the basis of excellence in any field but it should be based on excellence plus fourthly government servants including those working in psus except doctors and scientists are not eligible for these awards according to the government of india the awards are of three categories padma vibhushan for exceptional and distinguished service that is second degree honor padma bhushan for distinguished service in a high order that is third degree honor and padma shri for distinguished service that is the fourth degree honor padma vibhushan it is the second highest civilian award given by the republic of india those privileged to get the award are given a citation certificate and a medal which has a lotus flower in the middle and the words desh seva embossed on the obverse padma bhushan it is the third highest civilian award given by the government of india for those who have contributed to india's reputation in the global scenario the president of india confers the award in an elaborate ceremony held at the rashtrapati bhavan in march or april padma shri it is the fourth highest civilian award in the republic of india and is given by the government of india for distinguished contribution to various subjects like arts literature sports politics industry medicine social service etc the awardee is not given cash but is given a certificate and a medallion with a three leafed flower on one side and on the obverse padma that is lotus and shri mr or miss is written in devnagari script national film awards these are amongst the most prominent awards given to those who have created cinematic excellence these are annual awards and had started in 1954 it was in the year 1973 that the directorate of film festivals was made responsible for organizing these awards the government appoints a national selection panel which decides the winners the president of india presents the awards and the films that win are showcased to the public the awards are not only given to the best amongst indian bollywood cinema but even to the best films from the regional categories there are five major categories which receive this award swarn kamal or the golden lotus award given in five categories and these are best feature film best direction best children's film best popular film providing wholesome entertainment and indira gandhi award for best debutant director rajat kamal or silver lotus award is given in 15 major categories like best feature film etc best feature film in the languages specified in schedule 8 of the constitution it is given in 12 categories including hindi bengali etc best feature film specified in languages other than those specified in schedule 8 of the constitution they are given in five categories including english bhojpuri kokborok mompa and tulu the national film awards also include the very prestigious dada sahab phalke lifetime achievement award which is presented to those who have spent their entire career to contribute to the indian cinema sahitya academy award This is an honor given to those who achieve brilliance in literature. This award was instituted in 1954 and is given by the Sahitya Academy that is the National Academy of Letters of our country. It is given annually to those 
who have achieved literary merit and created new trends by publishing their works prose or poetry in any of the 24 major languages recognized by the academy besides the 22 languages enumerated in the constitution of india sahitya academy has recognized english and rajasthani as languages which can be considered for the award the award comprises a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh and a plaque which says sahitya in the devanagari script the very famous indian filmmaker satyajit ray designed the plate in many occasions the award has been returned declined as an act of protest there are many other literary honors which are sahitya academy fellowship the academy also offers a prestigious fellowship called the sahitya academy fellowship This is the highest honor conferred by the academy where they select the fellows and honorary fellows who are chosen only because of their outstanding contribution to the literary arts. Becoming a fellow of the Sahitya Academy is a higher honor than even receiving the Sahitya Academy award. Bhasha Samman These awards are also given by the Sahitya Academy. Every year, Academy chooses writers who have made significant contribution to Indian languages other than the 24 major languages covered under Sahitya Academy award and also for contribution to classical and medieval literature. The Bhasha Samman comprises a plaque and a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh. Translation awards These are also given by the Sahitya Academy to those who have attempted translation of major works from other languages to the 24 major languages. Special importance is given to those who attempt translation of the ancient and medieval literature. The prize consists of a cash prize of rupees 50000 and a plaque. Gyan Peet Award or the Seat of Knowledge is given for outstanding literary achievement. It was instituted in 1961 by the Bharatiya Gyan Peet, a trust run by the Jain family famous for founding the newspaper The Times of India. It is given to those Indian citizens who compose literature in one of the 22 languages listed in the schedule 8 of the Indian Constitution and English. Apart from a plaque and a cash prize of rupees 11 lakh the winner is also given a bronze statue of goddess saraswati this award is not given posthumously to remember there are 23 languages 22 major languages plus english in which gyanpeet award is given saraswati samman the saraswati samman is an annual award for outstanding prose or poetry literary works in any of the 22 indian languages listed in schedule 8 of the constitution of india it is named after an indian goddess of learning and is considered to be among the highest literary awards in india the saraswati samman was instituted in 1991 by the kk birla foundation it consists of rupees 15 lakh a citation and a plaque candidates are selected from among them whose literary works have been published in the past 10 years vyasa samman the vyasa samman is a literary award first awarded in 1991 it is awarded annually again by the kk birla foundation and includes a cash payout of rupees 2 lakh 50000 to be eligible for the award the literary work must be in hindi language and has been published in the past 10 years dada sahab phalke award introduced in 1969 the dada sahab phalke award is india's highest award in cinema to commemorate dada sahab phalke the legendary filmmaker who made india's first full length feature film Raja Harish Chandra it is awarded to the directorate of film festivals and organization set up by the ministry of information and broadcasting it is given for outstanding contribution to the growth and development of indian cinema and is selected by a committee consisting of eminent personalities from the indian film industry the award comprises of a swarna kamal that is golden lotus medallion and a cash prize of 10 lakh rupees the fukuoka prize it is an award established by the city of fukuoka in japan to honor the outstanding work of individuals or organizations in preserving or creating asian culture there are three prize categories grand prize academic prize and arts and culture prize few prominent indian winners are romila thapar amjad ali khan ramchandra guha 
ए आर रहमान एंड टीजन बाई इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो एनी थिंग अबाउट इंडियन हिस्ट्री एंड इंडियन कल्चर प्लीज लिव इट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो दैट आई कैन कम बैक विद इट इफ यू हैव लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू